Manchester United have confirmed defender Lenny Yoro has had successful surgery on the foot injury he suffered during preseason. The French teenager arrived from Lille in July on a five-year contract and impressed during his first friendly under Eric Ten Hag as the Red Devils picked up their first win of the summer over Rangers. However, Yoro was struck down by a blow to his foot in the 2-1 defeat to Premier League rivals Arsenal and United feared he would be missing for around two to three months. Those fears have now been realized, with the club expecting the 18-year-old to be available again in late October or early November at the earliest. A statement on their website reads, Manchester United defender Lenny Yoro has today had a successful surgery on his foot injury. Our summer signing from Lille sustained the injury during the team's recent friendly match against Arsenal in Los Angeles, USA. Euro's rehabilitation starts now and we look forward to the 18-year-old returning to fitness in around three months. Euro's absence has been compounded by a period on the sidelines for striker Rasmus Hoyland, who isn't expected to be ready for matchday selection until after the September international break. United also suffered three fresh injuries during the recent 3-0 loss to Liverpool. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Johnny Evans and Victor Lindelof all looked to suffer knocks at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina. United were initially reluctant to disclose the severity of Euro's injury, according to a report, as they were worried it would harm their stance in negotiations with Bayern Munich over a deal for Matthijs de Ligt. The Red Devils saw a double bid for De Ligt and Morocco international Nusser Mazraoui recently rejected by the Bundesliga giants, though talks are thought to still be continuing. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag has admitted that Jadon Sancho could be used as a makeshift striker. United have an issue up front ahead of Saturday's Community Shield against Manchester City at Wembley. Rasmus Hoyland is injured until at least September whilst Joshua Zerxi has only just returned from his extended break following the Netherlands' involvement at Euro 2024. With problems trying to fill the number 9 position, Eric Ten Hag admits Sancho could be used if needed. That is what we can do if we don't have the availability of Rasmus. Of course, Joshua Zerxi is coming in, he said. He has started training. But he is not so long in training so it, it will take time and he has to adjust to English football and our way of playing. Jadon can, of course, play as a striker. He can also play in wide areas but it could be that he is a good option. With all that said, men's sport have taken a look below at how United could line up on Saturday with Sancho and if several players back from their holidays are used. Classic 4-3-3 Ten Hag has tended to play with a 4-3-3 formation at United with the pace of Marcus Rashford and Alejandro Garnaco on the wings. Against City though, it could be a risky tactic, especially if Casemiro is the only holding midfielder. But whilst this is not a preseason friendly, the real focus should be on the Premier League opener against Fulham so getting the players settled into a formation they are likely to use a few days later may be worth doing. Over the past two weeks, talk surrounding the future of the former Man UTD goalkeeper has ramped up. Earlier this summer, speculation regarding De Gea's next club was relatively low-key, but things burst into life when links with Genoa emerged. It was initially claimed that the Serie A side had engaged in talks with the Spaniard and that he was open to the move before it was revealed just a day later that the approach was actually made via an intermediary from the player's side. De Gea was essentially offered to Alberto Gilardino's side as a replacement for interbound Josep Martinez, but Genoa ultimately declined to sign him due to concerns over his age, lack of competitive football over the past 12 months and his suitability to their style of play. The shot stopper has not kicked, or saved, a ball since being released by Man UTD on June 30 last year, but it turns out that he could be on the move to Italy after all this summer. Fiorentina confident. Last week, Matteo Moreto revealed that Fiorentina were considering opening talks with De Gea as they search for a new goalkeeper. Since then, things appear to have progressed quite a bit. Lanazione is now reporting that confidence in Florence is growing of being able to secure the signature of the modern-day Man UTD legend. While there are some concerns over whether Fiorentina can match his wage demands, De Gea is said to be interested in the move. This morning, the Italian outlet claimed that today would be crucial in making a decision over whether or not Fiorentina will actually proceed with the talks, 
but all signs are seemingly pointing towards La Viola wanting to give signing the 33-year-old a good go.